Hello everyone! Today we're going to do 5 wizard tips. They should be things you have to do or not do very early in the game so you get an edge earlier. So let's do it. Tip number 1. Do not choose Firebolt as one of your early starting cantrips. I know, fire, Firebolt's very good, sometimes will be your bread and butter, but you can get a Firebolt scroll pretty early on the Nought Lodge. So if you can survive that part, you have an extra cantrip and that's always good. For the second tip, if you want to use Mage Armor, I don't recommend you getting it on you start your character because you can find a scroll pretty easily and pretty fast on the Nautilus too. So yeah, just get the scroll, learn it after the Nautilus and then you have one extra spell. So that's always good. Tip number three, right now there is really no point in getting Abjuration over Evocation because there is not enough Abjuration spells to make it good. If they may, if they change how the reaction works and they introduce shield and other abjuration spells then maybe but right now evocation is much better if you want refer to my wizard subclass guide and i'll explain that better tip number four wizards can learn any spell they can find scrolls of and i mean any spell if you're coming from dungeons and dragons well right now on baldur's gate 3 early access a wizard can actually learn cleric spells so I'm here buying some spell. I'm going to buy the ceiling war. This fine guy is selling. Okay, bought it. Now let's go. Yeah, sure. Savannah guides you. Scroll of healing war. Learn spell. And now I can come to my wizard spell book. And actually, I can prepare the spell. So yeah, now I can cast it as I want. With my spell slots, of course. That's pretty bonkers. Tip number five. Uh, you can actually abuse long rest to get your spell slots back. I don't like to do that on tabletop. I'm actually the dungeon master usually. And one of the jobs of the dungeon master is to make sure casters can't be resting all the time and replenishing all the spell slots all the time. Because if you think they can go and unleash all their potential in one, two or three fights, then that will be too easy and martial characters will be, um, let's say, obscured. You know, just throw them on the garbage bin. But right now, Baldur's Gate is not, is not doing a good job in preventing that. So as a caster, you can just be long and resting all the time. So getting back your spell slots. More and more spell slots. And then you can go on and pop pop on fights as much as you want. So, unless Baldur's Gate 3 does Where something, just abuse that. There are one or, one or two things in the game that are like in time attack. Let's say that. Like the kid tiefling and so on. But... Just a few things. Let's hope they put more so we can actually enjoy a more balanced game. But, well, that's a tip for you. Um, right now, just rest as much as you want, I, I guess. Now, for a bonus tip, Thunder Wave might be the best spell in the early access. Uh, I mean, Cloud of Daggers is pretty good if you stack them together, but Thunder Wave is the funniest, of course. In the first level spell, you just use and blow people away. And if you combine that with Misty, Misty Step, because here you can use both on the same turn, on regular D&D you can't, if you cast a spell with a bonus action, your spell with the action can only be a counter, but here you can pretty much Misty Step and Thunder Wave. So it's just too good, too fun. Thunder Wave. You know what, right? Thunder Wave. And... If that fails, we can always Thunder Wave again. And thank you everyone. That was five quick wizard tips. I hope that helps you. Which class do you want next? Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. See ya!